to have Princess Leia Organa as a woman who is adopted and is able to take on the universe was just so, so incredibly important to me to have that representation. Everyone has a Star Wars story. I'm Jordan Hembro, and I'm meeting Star Wars fans virtually who have been inspired and changed by the galaxy far, far away. Today, I'm sitting down with Amy from Brooklyn, New York. A fan from a young age, Amy connected deeply with Star Wars in ways that continue to reverberate today. This is Amy's Star Wars story. Hey, Amy, how are you? It's nice to e-meet you um, <laughs> over the lovely technology. <laughs> yes, so let's get into it, okay? I want to hear all about your first experience with Star Wars because you were a 90s kid, if I'm not mistaken, right? I was. It's funny, I was actually talking to my parents on the phone today to try to remember exactly why uh, we started watching Star Wars. We're big Harrison Ford fans. My brother and I loved watching all of the Indiana Jones films. So my parents just wanted to move us on to another series of films with Harrison Ford in it. So we started watching the Star Wars series and I was absolutely hooked. How old were you? According to um, my Leia doll, I would have been 10. So it's been quite a while that I've been a fan of Star Wars. You mentioned a Princess Leia doll. Tell me more about that. I happen to have the doll here. This is my 1996 Kenner Princess Leia doll. And I actually got this from my mom for Christmas. But I think what the most special thing about this doll is actually in this extensive bio. It talks about how she was adopted by Bail Organa. To me, that honestly meant the world because I am adopted from Tegu, South Korea, and I was brought over on a plane to JFK and lived in Matawan, New Jersey. And being adopted was always a large part of my identity. We would actually meet up with other children from the adoption agency on like a weekly basis. To us, it was normal. You know, we were adopted. That was just a normal thing. And to have Princess Leia Organa as a woman who is adopted and is able to take on the universe was just so, so incredibly important to me to have that representation. That's pretty incredible. And you actually made that connection with Leia at a young age. Do you think that was something you were looking for? It's funny because I feel like you don't exactly know what you're looking for until you happen upon it. I don't think I ever put two and two together that you don't really hear a lot about characters being adopted or delve that deeply into someone's backstory. And that's why I think it was all the more important to me to have that moment because it was so great to say, you know, well, Leia Organa is adopted and look what she's done for the galaxy. So what could that mean for my backstory? And what could that mean for me going forward? You talk about being adopted and your wonderful, wonderful parents. Do you know your birth parents? I don't personally, but one thing I would like to do is at least make contact with my biological mother just to let her know that I'm okay. I've had a wonderful life. I've been really, really uh, lucky. Um, so that is on my list of <laughs> things I would like to do in my life. She will be loved with us. You know, I want to do a 180 real quick and ask you, when you got older and you went to college, did your fandom change a little bit? Yes. So, uh, of course, I'd seen the movies when I was growing up and the prequels came out when I was in middle school. And then I didn't really think about Star Wars as much until I got into college. And I ended up going out for the Disney College program. And it just so happened to be when they were starting Star Wars weekends. To be there with the Star Wars stars, it was just so great to have that come to life before my eyes and to see the characters roaming around the parks was just so special. And it just rekindled this love for me of the Star Wars series. And then watching the parades, they also had the 501st marching. And then I started thinking, you know, I would love to join one of those groups one day. And ironically, my roommates for the Disney College program had seen a blog post about Saber Guild in New York City. And I went to a rehearsal kind of thinking, you know, it'd be really cool to kind of just swing sabers. And I've been in the organization for, goodness, like four or five years at this point, which is crazy to think it's been that long. We've talked about Princess Leia and, and the role model that character became for you at a young age. You actually got a chance to meet Carrie a couple times, didn't you? I did. She was coming to New York Comic Con and I had a moment with her and, and I said I was adopted. And to have that strong female role model who was adopted like myself was life-changing for me. And she was like, you know, in all of the years of doing this, no one's ever said that to me. 
so this is very special. And uh, she kind of just touched my hand and I will never forget that moment. Amy, you obviously have this incredible personal connection with Princess Leia, but as time goes on and the new movie, The Last Jedi comes out, there's yet another character for you to have a connection with. Tell me about Rose Tico and your connection to her. The first time that I heard the announcement of Kelly Marie Tran getting cast in The Last Jedi, I was so incredibly excited. I think my Facebook post was, oh my God, it's an Asian girl. And not that I've never felt represented in Star Wars. Obviously I have this connection with Leia and being adopted, but to physically feel like I have this connection to a character who looks like me, it was just so incredible and so exciting, not only for me, but knowing that there are future generations of Asian girls who get to see a Star Wars film and get to see someone who looks like them on screen. That is so exciting. You told me you actually cosplay as Rose Tico too a lot. What are your experiences out on the road cosplaying as Rose Tico? I have had so many really great experiences cosplaying as Rose. The number one experience that comes to my mind was at the Buffalo Bisons game. And a uh, father kind of pulled me to the side and said I was walking with my daughter and she called out Rose and started running. And, you know, I didn't really know who she was running after. I kind of just figured it was a friend from school. And to know that she kind of saw Rose and kind of sprinted after her, it just shows the impact of this character on fans of all ages. And that is the true spirit of Rose. Your passion is infectious. Have you ever gotten a chance to actually meet Kelly in real life? Yes, I was extremely fortunate to meet Kelly Marie Tran at the premiere for The Rise of Skywalker. She kind of went around and was signing autographs for everyone around us. And I think I just started crying. <laughs> I just automatically started crying. And I told her, you know, I, I wanted to thank you. It's, it's more special for me to be here to thank you in person because you've made such a difference in this fandom. And she started tearing up. I was tearing up. Everyone around us was tearing up. And then they're trying to like redo her makeup. But it was just so special to be able to know that I was able to thank her in person for being that representation and just for being a, a completely wonderful person. How important is that? That sort of representation in the Star Wars films? What I've loved about the Star Wars galaxy from day one is that you get to meet characters of different races, of different gender identities, of different sexual orientations, and you don't always get that with the mainstream movies. Sometimes I just wish that there was a little bit more representation in the movies since that is the focal point of where fans are meeting a lot of the Star Wars universe because it, it really does matter. It, it's great to feel seen and heard in this large galaxy. It's so special and to me it's just it's so so important not only for me but for future generations to be able to see that. That's how we're gonna win. Not fighting what we hate. Saving what we love. Leia and Rose obviously had a huge influence on your life. What do you think other fans can learn from them as well? I think us as individuals can deal with some of the hardest things in life the force be with you. and still prevail. That's what I hope people take away from these characters that regardless of what's happened to them in the past, they keep fighting for a better world, not only for them, but for future generations.